Hi. In this short video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Buzzsumo to track your competitors, how you can see what content they're producing, how well it's performing, and even who's amplifying that content and getting it shared around the internet. Let's say I want to track a competitor such as Track Maven, another social media tool. I might start in Buzzsumo by doing a content analysis report. So I can enter my competitor's name into Buzzsumo and this will pull back for me a detailed analysis of the content they've published. In this particular case I'm looking over the last six months. So they've published 100 articles, they've had 5,000 shares, 54 average shares per post. Most of the sharing is taking place on Twitter, a little bit on LinkedIn. Um, and in terms of content types, list posts, i.e. posts that begin five ways, uh, are doing better for them than their how-to articles. Uh, I can see that uh, they're publishing most of the content spread quite evenly over the week, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, primary days, and in terms of content length, uh, their longer articles are doing uh, much better than, than their shorter articles. So that's the first thing I'd do. The second thing I could do is run a domain comparison report. So I could compare Track Maven with, let's say, Buzzsumo. And I can run a comparison report. Now what this shows me is I've still got my Track Maven data here on the left that we saw before, but I've now got the Buzzsumo data. So I can see that in the same six month period, we only published at Buzzsumo a quarter of the articles that Track Maven published. And as a consequence, we're getting far less total shares. We are getting almost twice the number of shares per post, but in overall terms, we're still far less uh, than Track Maven. I can see that we're using Google Plus a lot more than Track Maven. We're uh, sharing, getting over 20 shares per post on Google Plus. In terms of by content type, Buzzsumo, we're mainly doing well on the list posts, uh, and we might want to think about different types of posts uh, to put up. In terms of date published, actually at Buzzsumo we tend to publish things at the start of the week. Uh, we generally believe that gives us better shares, um, so you can see that very clearly. And in terms of content length, this is more interesting. You can see that the longer content for Track Maven is doing well, but they're only publishing articles two to 3,000 words long. We're publishing articles here of three to 10,000 words, and these are getting far higher shares. So we're getting 337 shares for our longer articles, um, whereas these two to 3,000 word words attract maybe 159 shares. So longer content is doing much better for us, and we would want to stick with that. So that's the first thing I could do in looking at my competitors. What I could then do is look at what's their top content. So I could say, okay, so let's have a look at Track Maven. Over the last six months, let's look at their most shared content. So the most shared article is 10 influencers, a list post on the future of content marketing. Then we've got a demo, three reasons marketers should learn to code. So I can see the types of content they're producing, they're mainly articles, they're doing well with list posts. And I can see the networks they're being shared on, and I can resort by the numbers of networks. What I can also do though is view the sharers. So who's sharing my competitor's content? So here I can see, okay, Anne Handley, Joe Polizzi, I know these people, um, I already follow them, um, not really a surprise there. But actually if I look down the list here, I've got Jan here, uh, 16,000 followers, looks interesting. Um, I could choose to follow Jan directly, um, or I could choose also to tweet to him or add him to a list. So I could start to build a relationship with Jan, but I would probably start by following him. Uh, the same is true of another one here, so uh, uh, Shane's now, or Shane Snow even. Um, again, I don't know this person, but I can start to follow them. I can also try to understand a little bit more about them. I can view the links that Jan shared. So here I can have a look at the links. So I can link, look at all the links that, that Jan shared to get to know what sort of content uh, he likes to share. I can analyze those further by domain, so I can see where he's sharing content from. In fact, he's sharing it from a very wide range of sources, um, but some of the large ones, Blogger, Blog, Hops, uh, HubSpot, LinkedIn, for example. So 
In this way, I can not only see who's sharing my competitor's content, but I can start to get to know them and to follow them. Another thing that I might want to do if I'm tracking uh, Track Maven is go to Content Alerts. If I click Create New Alert, I have a range of different type of alerts that I can create within BuzzSumo. Um, so I might just want to create a keyword alert for Track Maven. And I could then be alerted every time an article either in the, the title or the article text it mentions the word Track Maven. And I can get that in real time. I could get that uh, as a daily digest, and I can get it emailed to anybody that I want to get it emailed to. In fact, I have a Track Maven alert set up over here. So if I go to Track Maven, it will show me the content alerts today for Track Maven. So uh, do you know when to send email? And actually, I can see here they've had a, a piece covered by HubSpot, so it's getting a lot of shares. And it's obviously in relation to a survey they did. They've done a survey of over one and a half Facebook posts. I can see actually another article here seems to link to the same content. It refers to the same study. So they're having good success with that. I can also create an alert for their domain. So in essence here, I can uh, create an alert for Track Maven. Um, and what this does is that every time a new piece of content is published on Track Maven, uh, I will get an alert. If I'm getting lots of alerts, I could filter the good content by saying only alert me when it's had 50 shares or 100 shares. But I like to get things immediately, so I'll stick to zero shares. And that can be mailed to me so that every day I'll get an email if there's new content published for me to look at, in addition to getting the keyword alerts every time somebody else uh, mentions Track Maven. So hopefully you can see through this short video how you can use Buzzsumo to track what your competitors are doing in terms of content and to see who's amplifying their content by sharing it. Thank you very much.